be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please be seated. Uh, as uh, with the previous panel, uh, your entire statement, uh, written statement, will be made part of the record. Why did Transocean's blowout preventer, the key fail-safe mechanism, fail to shut in the well and release the rig? Through our investigation, we hope to learn more about what happened and what was done in the hours before the explosion. Apart from looking at the causes of the explosion, we are also examining why the blowout preventer, the BOP as it's called, did not work as the ultimate fail-safe to seal the well and prevent an oil spill. Thank you, Mr. Newman. Go right ahead. Chairman Bingaman, Ranking Member Murkowski. The one thing we do know is that on the evening of April 20th, there was a sudden catastrophic failure of the cement, the casing, or both. Without a failure of one of those elements, the explosion could not have occurred. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Probert. Chairman Bingaman. We should not be making a rush to judgment. However, two things can be said with some certainty. The casing shoe was cemented some 20 hours prior to the tragic incident, and had the BOP functioned as expected, this catastrophe may well not have had occurred. Halliburton's confident that the cementing work on the Mississippi Canyon 252 well was completed in accordance with the requirements of the well owner's well construction plan. Thank you very much. Um, I just note for all senators. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I might just note that I would suggest to all three of you that we are all in this together because this incident is affecting, will have impact on the development of our energy policy for this country. And if we can't continue to operate and convince people that we can perform safely, then not only will BP not be out there, but the Transoceans won't be there to drill the rigs and the Halliburtons won't be there to provide for the cementing. So we figure out how we make this happen together. My colleague Senator Landrieu's question that uh, was to we are the re we are a responsible party our obligation is to deal with deal with the spill clean it up and make sure the impacts of that spill are uh, compensated and we are going to do that no matter if that's 14 billion dollars I'm not going to speculate on numbers all we've said is every legitimate claim and the full resources of BP are behind this well, there is uh, cost estimates by experts now that say it could be as high as $14 billion. So are you, are you saying that, that BP will pay all claims that, you know, I'm even I'm saying we will pay all legitimate claims, yes. Well, to respond to those in the next week, uh, that would be appreciated. Thank you all very much, and that will conclude the hearing.